Hey everyone, uh, Sam here. In this video, I'm going to show you um, how I did um, all those uh, fiction videos, uh, like what I do for my TV show uh, recently, and also for Spider Man as well. Because um, right now, I am going to be filming uh, Spider Man Anthology 3 Sinister 6. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, but first, I'll be having a cup of tea, and then I'll get started. So, uh, Oh, it's going to be amazing. So basically guys, what I'm doing is, since my armchairs are in the way of green screen, yep, I put my stuff there and there and there, just to save me from keep going back, backwards and forwards in my bedroom to get some stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to move these armchairs further that way like so, and then I have to bring my laptop closely because it's got my scripts there, which I do need, obviously. So I know what I'm doing and what to say and what story it's going to be about. Well, obviously I would know because I, I wrote it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use the strength. Imagine this is my spidey strength. Yep, that is uh, that's um, that's the fake blood which I bought from Argos and. Uh, so, uh, a big old face there. <laughs> Sorry, two minutes. Uh, there we go, on the selfie uh, kind of thing. Anyway, fake blood. Um, I usually put it on me and put it on my face, and uh, just to look like as I'm actually bleeding, but I'm not. So, uh, but don't worry, uh, it's not going to be real, obviously. Just like fictions are like Avengers, Marvel films, and Star Wars, Doctor Who. Indiana Jones, Home Alone, stuff like that, they're obviously not real, are they? Just like my TV show, Spider-Man videos, even Space Battle, Superman the Killer Dog. No, I do uh, unreal videos. I do fictions. But as for myself on the cruise and food challenges, that is a real video, obviously. And as for film reviews, half and half I would say. Um, I did play a character, because I'm um, obviously not like this in real life, but uh, anyway, I better get started, since it's uh, obviously not going to be about me just standing there talking to you. Oh no. Okay, that's the set sorted. Ta-da! Yeah, it's the best uh, way I can do it. So yeah, um, you see that stool there with a the Spider-Man book on it? That's where my iPad goes. And that's uh, my laptop where the script is, um, and that's the chair. That's going to be where my clothes and, uh, and that's the wall where all my all my stuff will be. And there's a light and a green screen now, uh, where it's obviously going to be the background of myself right behind me. Switch it on and uh, makes it in a good quality. Ugh. So yeah, it's going to be really exciting. I think um, I'm ready now. Oh, I need to sort, uh, sort of like sort my hair out a little, just to make it look like um, like a sort of like designing a 23-year-old version of Peter Parker. Like it's like it happened in uh, that Spider-Man PS4 game that came out in 2018. So yeah, I'm going to use this hairbrush to uh, sort my hair out. Then after that, I'll be changing my clothes. Well. Actually, I should change my clothes first and then sort my hair out. And after that, we can begin the filming. So yeah, there's Peter Parker in action. This video is actually supposed to be um, behind the scenes on all of my videos, like my TV show and stuff, but Spider-Man Anthology 3, Sinister 6, and since, since while I film it, uh, I thought this might be a good example. So, um... Yeah, let's get to it because it's not gonna do it themselves, is it? Right, I'll just put my iPad there in a good place. Like this. Yeah, I'm actually not gonna fool you guys that I've done those things because obviously it's not real, is it? Try telling those Star Wars actors that they've been fooling us that they've actually done it. Well, no, because it's done by visual effects stunts and everything. Because it's obviously fictions. Right. 
And also, there might be actually two things why I might not be the best at playing Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. Well, especially Peter Parker, because one, well, because I'm British. Well, sorry, I, I don't mean to sound like I'm being racist here. I mean, Brit I'm not saying British people can't play Spider-Man. I mean, of course they can. You just gotta put on the American accent, that's all. Um, because Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland, they're, they're British, actually, and they're, they're put on the American accent, and they're really good at it. Even Alfred Molina want to play Dark Ark in Spider-Man 2. Uh, yeah, he was actually British as well, and he nailed it uh, when he put it on the American accent. But yes, I'm British, and, uh, and I'm from Newcastle in England. Um, and also another reason is because my hair is blonde, but I do make, I do did my best to uh, make it look like it's, always, it's a little bit brown, but like Peter Parker though, but, but then again, uh, at least, uh, at least it's just the adaption or something. Anyway, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. And obviously everyone can play Spider-Man, anyone can be Spider-Man. Well, at least uh, MA is helping uh, people here. So yeah guys, uh, about to jump in in this uh, Spider-Man outfit, uh, I think it's starting to get tight a little, because uh, I've got this suit since, uh, I think it was February 2016, so yeah, just about, just literally uh, three years, yeah it was, um, uh, Now I've got this suit since I was 17 years old, and I'm now 20 years old. <laughs> Dear me. How are these times flying? So yeah, this is how I get the suit on. Looks a bit like a onesie. I actually got it from the... From the online, from... I think it was either Amazon or eBay. I can't remember, because my memories are usually terrible. And I got the mask on. Ugh. Ugh. And now I'm Spider-Man, and I've got a zip right behind me. It's not really the best uh, Spider-Man kind of design. Well, I mean, it is one of the best Spider-Man costume I've ever had. It's just the only problem is, um, I mean, I do love the suit. It's just the problem is the spider on the back is supposed to be red, not black. But I suppose it's a it could be a different design of Spider-Man. Just like in that Spider-Man PS4 game when he had when he's got the white logo. Ugh. That's my least favorite part of getting that suit on. There we go. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm new stunts. <laughs> see ya guys. I know it's sort of hard to see, but can you see that white string on there? That is for um, spider web, spider man's web, when he swings around the city, because uh, literally I have the string uh, attached to that ceiling and uh, the other end in my hand, so it looks like it's also actually swinging on from a different uh, city, and you can see my eyes. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's get a move on.
here it is that's the app I use for the green screen and uh, yeah as you can see there's myself as spider-man uh, in the background and the scene where I'm fighting the electro but that's definitely done by the green screen so yeah that is uh, really cool because it looks like as though as I'm actually there but I'm not because I was right there um, yeah, as soon as I've done all the green screen bits, I'll uh, be putting it on the on my laptop there, and then uh, edit it with uh, with other um, software stuff, and uh, and you'll see what I'll be using. So yeah. So yeah, people, uh, they're all on my laptop now, and, uh, and there's me uh, editing it on this software called Premiere Pro. It's actually uh, really easy once you get the hang of it. Um, there's also other software I use to create videos. I use um, Photoshop to uh, sometimes animate and create posters and stuff like that. Um, but usually I use uh, PowerPoint now to, uh, to animate. And uh, I used to use Windows Movie Maker but I heard it's no longer there anymore. Uh, so I got a new laptop, so uh, so that's been ditched. Um, what else? Oh yes, in a Word document, uh, just to write scripts and storylines. Pretty simple, really. But yeah, um, I'm gonna uh, carry on finishing. I'm gonna carry on editing it. Then after that, after that, um, Normally I give it a rewatch re to see if there's any mistakes uh, that I need to be doing and stuff like that. But uh, but uh, but I'm not, I've got to be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm not really too keen on watching stuff that I'm in. So yeah, I better get back to work. So yeah, um, good news is uh, I finally finished uh, editing um, my uh, my Spider-Man anthology video. Um, so yeah, um, I'll be releasing the trailer soon, and um, and after that I'll be uh, releasing the, the video on the on the day where it's where it's going to get released. Um, as you can see on my laptop, uh, all you had because all I have to do is uh, press this button uh, to upload, and then you'll get this, and then you just click on that to select uh, um, to select uh, files to upload. So yeah, that's uh, pretty simple really, and all you need to do is just uh, write a title, or it's just, or it's really there for you, uh, you just need to uh, improve it, and just write down what you want to put on the description below, uh, usually like, um, like tiny bits of plot, do my best to avoid spoilers in the video, and then I just put it on the playlist on which playlist it needs to be in. And a video thumbnail, like a theatrical release poster, just because obviously it's like a normal what films and TV series would do to make it look good. So yeah, um, that's pretty much really it. Really, um, that's, uh, I hope um, I hope this is uh, this video is uh, really uh, really helps. It's uh, useful to you uh, in case you want to make videos like that. Yeah, and uh, I better get on with these videos and stuff like that. Um, and after that, I'll be uh, getting some sleep because it's uh, getting a bit late now. And uh, and obviously, as it says on my T-shirt, time to chill. So uh, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll do that. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, like this video. Uh, add comments if you want to. And uh, please subscribe if, if you haven't yet. Um, yeah. That's that's really it really so uh